It's Madden NFL 22 on EA Sports. And the game of the week is just moments away. It's the Lions and the Cardinals. And it comes your way next. We find ourselves at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Detroit Lions and the Arizona Cardinals. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. down Murray finds his running back James Conner stopped at the 24 yard line after a gain of five well this defense for the Lions they were excellent a week ago in that victory over Indianapolis I have to admit I was extremely impressed by what I saw on tape because they stayed in the face of the quarterback the entire game ended up getting four sacks total and made it difficult for them to step up and find receivers downfield. Also made it hard for them to escape the pocket and run. But I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. The numbers there for Connor in last week's game. 15 carries, 64 yards, and a touchdown. 11 touchdowns on the ground this season, and the pride really extends throughout the entire offense. And in this case, I'm focusing on the offensive line. The leverage, the ability to get downfield, make that extra block in order to give him more space to run. They really look forward to him carrying the football because they're going to get him to the end zone. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Here comes the Cardinals punter now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. here on first down he finds his man complete that's Wheeler and he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds let's make this one simple what a catch especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds toe tapping and of course foot dragging a little tapestry if you will oh I like it From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Next to receivers, I'll spread the defense out. And they were able to come through with a slashing run. Well, to that point, it's going to be interesting to see the personnel chess match as this one progresses. Yeah, you're exactly right. Can they continue to create running lanes out of passing sets? And if so, it's going to be a long day for the defense. On third down, Holiday. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. Down. And he gets this one across midfield for the first down to the 46. I love those plays. Fourth and one. That's who wants it more this time the offense. Yeah, there's a lot of hooting and hollering in there, right? A lot of contact and a lot of collisions as they try and find some space. Who's going to drop their hips, gain leverage, and move the other side backwards? We saw it there for the offense getting it done. 
He finds his man complete. It's Alvarado. On, Let's go. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right? Whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs. In this case, the feet did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. Off the play fake. Curran. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Wheeler. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. From the 10, first and goal. Now a handoff here to his running back. Now the stop will come inside the five at the four. A nice pickup of six there to get him closer to the end zone, and it'll be second and goal. And again, this time to the tailback. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. to throw on third and goal. And he's got his man. It's caught for a lion touchdown. A great effort there. Hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Lions are going to take a first quarter lead. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. So that one a long 11 play drive. And the end result, a Detroit touchdown. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Murray a give. This is Connor. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Right back to Connor here on first. And he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. Well, I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? We play to now, win. after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A big play there out of the running game. I know that play went to the left side, and that's what it was designed to do, an outside handoff there. But how about the whole offensive line being involved? Seal the left side where the play was going, where they call play side. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off with great anticipation. And the Lions are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive that culminated in a touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. It doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. 
Now a throw here to his running back. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Off play action. Curran. And his throw is incomplete. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Throw left side complete. That's Wheeler. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. So in the Cardinal territory now. It's first and ten at the 46. Back to throw. Curran. He finds his man complete. It's Alvarado. A gain of six there on first. Four yards remain for second down. Looking to throw. Curran. Going to throw right side here. Complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 29-yard line. Two minutes on the clock. Second quarter. 7-0 ball game. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. A gain of three, second down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. And to give this time to the tailback. And this time he is in. Yes. A great play there. Touchdown number 22 on the season. And the Lions add on to their lead. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. So after the touchdown, here's Blankenship kicking off. No run back here, down to a knee. And this drive will start at the 25. With a football back in the hands of the Arizona Cardinals. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So, they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? He'll get this complete to Rondale Moore. And he'll have it past midfield, almost to the 40, before being taken down. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Play action. Now it's Murray. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. 
This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Murray going to throw. He's got Thompson here, complete. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Seven yards to pick up there. And Brandon, as you know, sometimes it's a lot tougher to run with these tight ends nowadays in the NFL. They're just bigger wide receivers. He lined up on the left side of the formation, ran a drag route across the field, and tried to work his way open. He was able to make the catch, but the defenders were there. Couldn't do a whole lot with it afterwards. And the Cardinals are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll check on his status when we get back. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Throwing again, Murray. He's got his man. It's caught the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Rondell Moore, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Cardinals are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point by Nagar is up and good. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't it? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, You've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Off the play fake. Curran. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Something we haven't really seen much of from him, an incomplete pass. Yeah, last week he finished at 70%. This week he's up over 80%. I don't know how you slow him down. Pass rush is usually the best way, because a quarterback on his back usually can't complete a pass. Off play action, current. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Hawkinson. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Off the play fake, Curran. Toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got a bolt down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. Play action. Curran. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Wheeler. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. And that extra yardage makes this upcoming field goal attempt much more manageable. Agreed, because when you talk to defensive coordinators, they always tell us the 35-yard line on our side of the field, that's the line we guard the most aggressively. Because once they get there, they believe they're in field goal range. Due to time constraints, we move you forward in today's broadcast to the beginning of the third quarter. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Lions in the lead, and they're going to get the football first as well as the second half is underway. 
And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. And the Lions getting set to go on offense to start the third. On first down, Holiday. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Back to throw. Curran. He'll find Dobbins out of the backfield. Now after the completion, go. we're going to get a timeout. An injured player. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Off the play fake. Curran. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. Looking to speed things up here. Going with some tempo. Off play action. Curran. Open man. He's got him. The tight end. Hawkinson. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Nice play call, a little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Here comes the Lions punter now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense him saying, OK, the first half was theirs. But now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for the second half. I call it no gain there on the first down play. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. They'll stay on the ground with Connor again. And here's another tackle made at the line. So they're converging well on the football now. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends are like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Throwing on first down is Murray. This is caught. It's Kirk. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time. But it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time arm speed. Touchdown, Cardinals. DeAndre Hopkins hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Cardinals draw a bit closer. Extra point by Nagar is up and good. And the lead is down to a field goal. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. From the six. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Here comes the field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession. He's been pretty solid, pretty consistent. Just the one touchdown pass, but I think he's managed the game well, no? I would agree with you, and that's what you're looking for out of your field leader. Making sure that you're playing well and not making any big mistakes. Oftentimes, that's how you're judged. Mm -hmm. How big a mistake and when it occurs. No interception so far. They'll like that. I just want you to know that you agreeing with me, that's going to get me through this third and fourth quarter. Are you touched? <laughs> He's patting his heart, boys and girls. He's touched. 
respect. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Off the play fake, Curran. And that'll be complete to Dobbins. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. So in the Cardinal territory now, it's first and 10 at the 38. Looking to throw, Curran. Going right side here, and that's complete. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. A big play there on the catch and run. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. Second and goal from the one. They'll keep it on the ground. Holiday. And this time he is in. Oh, yes. A great effort there with touchdown number 23 here on the year. And the Lions are able to grow their lead. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So after the touchdown, here's Blankenship kicking off. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Getting set to go again, DeAndre Hopkins marches back onto the field. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this a great game, but so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good, but there's always that hint that things can really escalate for him. And right, blitz coming, and down he goes. Levi Owen with Zurique. Showing his strength and quickness there, a loss of four. Just not much a quarterback can do there, CD. The pressure was in his face almost instantaneously, led to a very quick sack. After the sack on first down, Murray, open man is Kirk, complete. They get 11 back on that one, it leads to third down. Welcome back to the desert, we're in Glendale. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And able to find Kirk complete. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple of scores. And they've really got to get some yards in chunks. And they know the defense doesn't want to give those up. But they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? Buying time to his left. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. To throw is Murray. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Will Harris. If they had designs of kind of wiggling their way back into this one, that hurts their chances right there. They had to put it mildly. We look at the lead, look at the deficit, trying to make a play downfield. Everyone seeking to be somewhat the hero. Didn't turn out that way at all, and you're exactly right. It's going to take a lot for them to have a chance to win this one now. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll make it a second down. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. And only able to muster a couple down to about the 27. The Lions on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. They're up against a third and one situation. 
And he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field, and I don't think he got there. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. He hit his first one, this from 44 yards out now. Blankenship's kick is good. And that will stretch the lead up to 13. So that may be not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist. But time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game, is in their favor. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Let's Good go. coverage Let's as he's dropped at the 17. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. A gain of six there on first. Second and four. From the gun, Murray. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Thompson. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Good yardage on the completion there. When they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. On first and ten, here's Murray. He's got it complete to Thompson. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Clock running here under 90 seconds to go. And that one, his first incompletion in his last six passes. And it's third down. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. Murray to air it out again. Looking for the end zone. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Picked off by Gary and Conley. And the Lions are going to take over here on the INT at their own five-yard line. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season. Uh -huh. goes, well, here we are season in December. Of giving. Right, it is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Now it looks like he'll throw here. He finds his man complete. That's Wheeler. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Now a play fake here on first down. 
He finds his man complete. That's Wheeler. Now the card's go. going to call another go. timeout. Their second go. as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. That's it, baby! The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. To throw on second down, Curran. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Down near the goal line, things really get physical. You're always anticipating a running play, but when they do throw it, things happen quickly. A little bit of a bang-bang play there that falls incomplete. And he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. And now we're going to get a stoppage as, yeah, that looks like Jackson who's shaken up. And they're going to go for this thing. They're not going to leave anything to chance. They're going to roll the dice on fourth and goal. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. A great play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Lions are closing in on a third straight win as they widen the gap further here in the fourth quarter. Now Blankenship on for the PAT. And that one pushes the lead up to an even 20. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it's capped off by a touchdown for the Lions. So after the touchdown, here's Blankenship kicking off. And this will not be brought out. It's a Let's touchback. Go. Let's go. Arizona's offense back out and ready to go. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. He finds his man complete. That's Thompson. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. He'll get this to Connor underneath. Three yards the game there, second down. Well, Charles, it's great to win at home in the NFL. When you win on the road, it's a little extra special, isn't it? It is because, let's face it, in most cases, you're not expected to go on the road and win in the National Football League. It just doesn't usually compute. So to get out there, get that done, and then head back to your city with one in, your, in the victory column, oh, that's a fantastic feeling. So for Detroit, they continue to make their case for the playoffs as they move to 9-3. and three. And they'll return home next week to take on the New Orleans Saints. Meanwhile, for the Cardinals...